Hi everybody, uh, my name is Thomas Sala and today I'd like to introduce you to Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles with just a bit of straight gameplay, so let's get into it. Bulwark is all about massive fortified settlements. I've already started a small one over here and one of the two ways you do this is by flying around with your little surveyor which can build wood mills and stone quarries and unlock resources for your settlement. The other way is by building from the ground. Simply start building towers and connecting those towers with your base. Once a tower is connected, you can start adding foundations to it to sort of expand your settlement. You can build anywhere across the map, anywhere you want. It's a freeform builder. And you can use those towers and walkways to connect up your resource operations, in this case, a stone core. There's no numbers game here, but resource access is important because when you have access to stone, you can upgrade your towers to stone towers and build stone walkways and stone foundations, which allow people to build nicer houses. We can go further by adding a trade route. Simply build two harbors and assign a specific captain. Each captain is unique and unlocking them through little stories is part of the game. In the distance, we'll now build a mining operation and connect the endpoint of that trade route. Many towers and walls built and connected to a mine on this And if you pay attention, you can see in the distance that captain is already starting to sail off and transport that iron and steel into your settlement, which allows you to build not just stone and wood towers, but command towers which are large multi-story fortified buildings which you can use to defend your settlement. And later on you'll be able to assign commanders to them which will build also units because this is the world of the Falconeer which is also quite a dangerous place. So part of Bulwark will be defending your settlement from raiders and enemy factions. That is a quick introduction to Bulwark and I hope it's been enlightening and inspires you to follow the development of the game.